Hello, good morning. My name's Claire Howard and I am currently following the Slim World Plan. If you haven't seen any of my vlogs before, then basically all this is going to be is just my day on Slim and World and how I fit Slim and World into busy working family life and how it fits around myself and my family. Bit of a boring one today, but I've just thought I would film it anyway because it's probably going to be my last vlog from this house. Yes, I'm moving at the weekend. Anyway, what am I doing apart from rushing around like a headless chicken? Just having a cup of tea. You know me, I don't function without tea in the morning. So um, one of my Hex A's milk allowance is always gonna go on tea. I've got some leftover chili and rice here that I had night before last for dinner. So I'm just gonna heat that up in the microwave. And I've got my show flask here. I have filled it with some boiling water. You don't have to do that, but I do like I just in my head, heating up the inside keeps the food extra hot inside. And I always make sure that what I'm heating up in the microwave to go inside, I do really hot. Um, this evening for tea, we are having jacket potatoes. I was gonna do the slow cooker tikka masala dish. Actually, I will film tomorrow as well. I will film tomorrow because I will, I wanna add that dish in. If I don't get around to adding that dish in, I'll cook it again next week and then I'll add it in. Um, yeah, so I'm having jacket potatoes for dinner this evening. I just mix up some tuna mayo and do beans and cheese and everyone just helps themselves and put whatever they fancy on their potato with some salad. So that is a nice, easy dinner. Like I say, chili for lunch. And I'm gonna quickly use my Hex B anywhere today that I can think of. So I'm just gonna have a bowl of high brand. I love this cereal. It looks like little bits of cardboard. It's actually really quite nice. I do like it topped with fresh strawberries and blueberries. And then I just use a hex a allowance of skimmed milk usually 100 milliliters in that is perfectly fine for the 50 gram portion of the cereal that you get most cereals are 40 grams this one is 50 so it's a really good one for a nice fill-in breakfast so i'm gonna get on and do that pack my lunch up and then i'll see you guys later um like i say moving at the weekend don't really know where i am I'd like to say thank you for all your lovely comments on the last video um it's only gone for a week or so but it felt like ages because before that i'd obviously been uploading every day so i felt like i'd not done anything for ages but when i looked it actually wasn't that long but it's good to be back anyway i hope you're all getting on okay don't forget to tell me how you're getting on i'm going to weigh tonight i'm going to weigh tonight that was the whole point of what i came on today so tonight is my weigh day i've only done the one way after christmas so it's my first way back so i'll let you know how that goes I have no idea. My jeans are definitely feeling looser this week. I have been good. Um, Sunday we went around my mother-in-law's and she done like a bit of a birthday lunch, so that wasn't so good. But actually, the rest of the week I have been good. I haven't really been recording it though. I've done my vlogs on here and I, I know in my head that I've been good, but I haven't been writing it down. So if you're anything like me and have so I say memory like I say but I have got bad memory but I've also got so much going around in my head that I literally if you said to me now what did you do yesterday I'd stand here and just be like I literally have no idea so although I feel that 99% of my days since I've been back from Spain I have been good I couldn't actually honestly say that because I don't know so yeah I'm gonna get on quickly make my breakfast Stick my lunch in my flask. With that, I'm gonna take a banana and obviously my bottle full of squash, as always. Um, don't have many other snacks. Haven't talked up on much shopping this week because we're moving, so tomorrow I'm off work and I'm gonna concentrate on packing up a load of stuff in this house. I'm gonna take it around to the other house and I'm literally gonna leave the food we need for Thursday, Friday, I'm doing a leek and potato soup. So just, yeah, the slow cooker pretty much and a few ingredients for that and get the rest over. I cannot wait to start unpacking into my new kitchen. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself next week because I hope I'm not gonna be disappointed because I've just got this feeling in my head that when we move, everything's gonna be so lovely and smooth and easy, but I know it's not because <laughs> we've, we've moved into nice houses before and it doesn't change everything else, does it? But it is my plan for this year to be far more organized. Um, I've got my eye on sort of a wall planner and I also need to get myself like a weekly planner like an A4 weekly planner or something and sit down on a Sunday and plan my week because I want to get a bit more regular and regulate the times that I upload for you guys but I, I honestly I think I come across on here as quite organized but I run around like a headless chicken so on my days I'll have a day and I'll sit around doing stuff and I think oh I can't think of what I've got to do the night before I had a huge list but if I haven't written it down 
I just don't do anything because I forget. Um, <laughs> now I sound like a nutter. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll find other things to do. And I think, what was that other thing I needed to do? And then it doesn't get done. And then you remember the next day and it's gone. So a planner is definitely on the cards. And I'm also going to get a friend of mine, oh, it's a while back now, but I'm going to search it up on Etsy. She got a big blackboard planner and it had a, a line for each family member and each day of the week. I really need one of those too. Um, I think that will help structurally for all of us because we've let a lot of things slip with the kids since we've lived here. Like because there's not a lot of space, they don't have their own space in the bedrooms, they don't have all their own stuff. We can't all sit in the lounge comfortably together. It's a bit of a just just do what you like to keep the peace. Um, so I think a bit more structure with them. Structure is what is going to be put in place in the new house. Definitely structure. Right, I am getting on the cusp of needing to go. So I'm just gonna get my lunch ready and quickly have my breakfast. And I'll see you guys later on today and let you know how I got on with my way in. Good evening. So I am now at my way in. I'm gonna go in in a minute. I'm just waiting for my sister to arrive. What a day I've had today, guys. So I finished work, went to drop the boys off at Kickbox and I thought I'd just stop at Tesco's because there was a couple of things that I needed. Literally popped in for five minutes and the boys didn't want to come in. So, and they said, can you leave the radio on? So I was like, okay. So I left my, I turned the car off because there's no way I'm leaving them in the car with the car running. And I left the ignition on so I could listen to the radio. And um, didn't realize my lights were on as well come out and the car battery was flat so luckily my dad was nearby with some jump leads so i did get picked up but oh such a chore i don't know why the battery went flat i don't really feel like i left it that long but maybe it's down to the cold weather or maybe the battery's on the way out but that was a bit of a stress so nipped home i've done the boys they all had chicken burgers for dinner i was going to wait until after my way in to eat but it starts at 7.30. I'm not going to be home till about 9. So I decided to eat before I came. I just had a light dinner. I had the same thing yesterday. And I had a piece of salmon left, which is why I had it again tonight. So I had salmon. Um, I had half a tin of potatoes left from last night. So I popped those just with some salt and fry light into the air fryer. If you haven't ever air fried tinned potatoes, it's well worth a try. They are yummy. And just one of those really quick, easy things to do. And then I just had a little bit of salad with that. So it's a really nice, light, easy dinner. Um, salmon, new potatoes and salad. Yeah, yummy. So now I go my way in. I'm feeling, I don't know what I'm feeling. It is what it is, you know. It's been Christmas. I've kind of picked up my act, but not totally. And then I've been away for a weekend in between. So whatever comes of it, it's going to motivate me going forward. Obviously, we're moving house this weekend, so I don't know how good I'm going to be. But it's going to motivate me going forward and I'm going to do what I can within my control. Um, I'm sure I had something to say, but I can't remember. I'll let you know how my way in goes. As you can see, my chicken's been in since lunchtime and it is now really tender. So in a minute, I'm gonna shred that with my fork before adding a tablespoon or two of my farge, not percent fat yogurt to cream up that sauce. I've just totally shredded all that up. It smells divine. And here is the slow cooker chicken tikka. You can serve with naan breads if you want to use your sins for that. In future, I would probably love to add a huge salad to this. Um, I think it would go really well. I don't have any salad in the fridge at the moment. So this is what we've got. Hi. I just wanted to come up and give you a quick update before I forget because it is a really busy week. So I've been moving in stuff into the new house today, which is why there's been no hair done. <laughs> and no makeup but anyway before I forget let's just recap on where we are this week so I went for my weigh-in Wednesday evening and have lost a pound and a half so I'm chuffed with that um pound and a half off yesterday I just had salmon and salad and new potatoes for dinner which I will log on here and tonight I have made the JD seasonings 
chicken tikka masala in the slow cooker that is so nice i highly recommend trying it the only thing i was missing is i feel like it would go really nice with a nice salad just iceberg lettuce tomato cucumber and a squeeze of the can't get my words out I'm tired and a squeeze of lemon i think that would just add to it so i just had it with rice and the kids and mark had a naan bread um i don't know how many sins they are but you can look it up i've seen people they do have naan bread so obviously if you save your sins for the day then you can have a naan bread with it but i think i would actually prefer to have it with rice and salad it is really really tasty a great one to use for a jacket potato filling if you fancy that um and i've got leftovers for lunch which is an extra bonus so that's where we're up to pound and a half lost um, I can't guarantee what my diet is going to be like over the weekend because we are moving into the house. I think there's a very good chance that it's going to end up being a takeaway because we've got some long days coming. You know, we're not necessarily going to be in a position to cook Saturday evening. Um, it just is going to be what it is going to be for those few days. But then come Monday, we should be pretty much settled in. I'll get a shop in and we will be ready to go with the home cooking and getting back on track. So that's me this week. I hope you've had a fab week. Let me know how you're getting on. Have you lost weight? Have you gained weight? Are you are you going well? Are you feeling positive, motivated? What are your struggles? What are your achievements? Just what's going on in general? Give me a little, little chit chat. Um, I'm sure that I had something else to say other than just to tell you that I'd lost a pound and a half, but I can't remember what that is. I am working on my Spain vlog. I did vlog that can't wait to get that on because that's quite nice I've enjoyed watching that back and I'm also working on my last home vlog before we go on to the new vlog which will be the move-in vlog obviously lots of slim and well stuff coming up I've got lots of dishes that I can't wait to try once I get my oven up and running so I'll see you soon take care and don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the vlogs